got uh, solenoid assembly, solenoid switch valve, both filters, and the Alice kit is what I normally put in a 68 RFE. Used to do for the longest till the dealership got smart was you could buy the whole uh, valve body assembly with the solenoid assembly on it cheaper than what you could buy the solenoid assembly either from the dealer or from an aftermarket source so it was a no-brainer because these uh, 68 RFE valve bodies are junk uh, you can't do that anymore they wised up and starting to charge a lot of money for them so what I'm going to do this time they started putting these valve body gaskets in the kit I'm going to see how it works this time so this is that solenoid switch valve that's the uh, same on the 604's put the black end in first these uh, 68 RFE valve bodies the accumulators are got different spring configurations, so make sure you put them back where, the, where they were. Most of your 45, 545 RFEs, uh, there was a single spring here, the rest of them were, were the same, so it didn't matter if you swapped them around, they were the same. There's a little plug that goes in here with the little valve that just free floats. Make sure it doesn't fall out. These ceiling rings just a little tweak and helps them stay on there without sticking out. Early plates that were on here, bad about breaking. Haven't seen one broken in quite some time. There's a couple orifices in here, make sure they're in there. Be sure and change these rubbers out. Different plates for the different solenoid assemblies. Uh, your early models had seven check valves. Light models only have five. these two uh, flat sand I got this uh, buy, I bought this one from Transtar it's called a builders bench stone part number at the time I bought this was T-35289 and uh, it's just a home stone and uh, it's got a rough side and a smooth side the only thing I use this for is pumps and valve bodies. Give this a good going over because these warp right here in the center. And that's what causes all the problems on these. 
you can go with a 545 valve body if you want to but you got to use the same plate if you're doing a late model you have to use the same plate and leave the two balls out but you can use a 545 valve body on it works really good but I'm gonna try this out see how it does we give this a good sanding both uh, both halves of the valve body pump halves and the uh, separator plate and just uh, smooth it down try to get it as flat as you possibly can because like I said they're really really bad about leaking in this area right here I should have put another couple bolts or something in there all right so what white solenoid uh, solenoid bodies can be used all the way uh, you, these replace the black ones and you had to replace the uh, little plate here these will also work where the gray solenoid goes which is what we had so I gave a new plate I'm going to go ahead and put the new plate on the gray solenoids are for 2011 and up I believe Like I say, you can put a white solenoid on there. Now when you're putting this on your solenoid body, there's a lineup deal that goes <clears throat> right in this little slot right here. You can see that. And these pins ride right on this black part. You make sure all this is flat when you're tightening it out up. Uh, And as with most things, start in the center and work your way out. spring right here on the early models I like to break a lot I haven't seen one broken in quite a while but I do see them try to work their way out and come past that retainer so make sure they're all the way back in there There's a little flapper that goes in there, it goes in right here. And I marked my pump gears and I put them back exactly where they came out of. And the, the recess goes up. On the early models, there was a bolt that held the plate on here and one that was over here. If you left those out, the vehicle wouldn't move.
there's a couple orifices in the stator. Make sure those are in there. snap rings in the wrong place. with the 604s, I just line those holes up. It doesn't say anywhere about doing that, but I just get them somewhat close. The 604s, this has a bevel so it faces up. Make 
sure it's seated all the way. You need that over there. This has a bunch of molded pistons and a bunch of one-sided clutches. Your orifice in here, make sure it's clear. This one's got a little debris in it. Paper on the tips up. Here again, trying to get the snappering in between one of those ribs. We've got uh, thick bearings and thin bearings. The 545s have thins all the way through except for in two spots. The 68s have thicker bearings so pay close attention to where those came out of.
flat green. Put the opening of these half moon clips in between. Our new models had a snap ring that went down here underneath the sprag assembly and the sprag sit on it and then another snap ring went on top held it in. Late models don't have that. There's a blind spline right there for it to line up. Has a thick one with the lip, goes on the back back here. Sun gear with the cap in it, goes in the back. Thick bearing. Another thick bearing with the lip on it. Now this drum here, I got a C6 direct drum front bushing. I just split apart and I use a uh, spread it apart to fit in here. I use that on the press and press it down and then put my snapper in. Here. This uh, dish goes up. Taper up. Just use a screwdriver and hammer and put it in.
careful when you're taking these uh, pump covers off. You don't poke a hole through. And you don't distort it. Uh, the new seals. Have a lip on them like that. That'll work just fine. Put some support underneath here when you push your seal in. This plastic washer goes with these little ribs down. It'll only fit one way. This uh, bearing with the lips goes up. This bearing goes on the back. Bearing goes on the back here. Bearing goes on the back here. This bearing goes with the black side up. Right here. This bearing goes between the pump and this drum. This is your feed hole, it goes towards the bottom. There's a wide, there's a wide lug, it goes at the very top. Snap ring with the taper up, opening at the 12 o'clock. And an assembly goes down. He's got to lock into the drum down there. Pressure plate goes down first. <clears throat> what? Do you know something about a seal on this cake? I know nothing. Flat snap ring. Bottom groove. Center support. Feet holes down. Of course, you have to put it that way.
opening goes with the bevel up. The opening goes out here. Don't put any of the snap ring in this area right here. If you do, the valve body's going to push it off. And it might not let your valve body seat all the way and give you weird problems. somewhere else. Taper goes up. These like to break. This one was broken. Got jammed in between the clutches. And uh, first, third, and fifth gear ratios. Uh, your thicker clutches go on the bottom, thinner clutches go on the middle. Wavy snap ring goes in the bottom groove. Now I've seen different uh, pressure plates. This one here's got a little step that goes up. This one got a step that goes down. Step that goes down goes towards the overdrives. flat snap ring. And double sided clutches for your reverse. If you get that uh, pressure plate wrong down there, you're going to have no reverse. Flat snap ring. Pry your clutches up. I mean, uh, your pressure plate up. It's a snap ring. When it's all the way down, your reluctor is going to be in the center of your speed sensor hole. bearing.
Remember any models had a seal that would go around the stator here and there would be a snap ring that would go out in the center here also. Bring holes of cover in. I've done this before. This filter that goes here, down in these little holes, you see there's a little rubber piece that goes underneath there. Make sure it's not up against those holes and blocking them. And uh, when they started putting a steel insert, these used to be plastic and they wouldn't be tight. Make sure that if it has a plastic insert that it's nice and tight. As you tighten this down on there and and the filter would loosen up off of the little plastic piece and fall off. <coughs> Move this all the way down. I'm sorry. All the way that way. It's easier to see up in there. Get your manual valve lined up on your linkage. I know it's lined up when you get to and here's the detent. I'm damn sure the bottom of these pan bolt holes, all the silicone is out of there. If you don't, you go and you tighten it down. It's gonna rip those threads right out of there. Uh, your speed sensors are both the same, so if you get a speed sensor code, you can just swap one for the other and see if it was a speed sensor or if it was something else. Uh, this pressure solenoid that goes inside here. Most of the time you get codes for that, it's the wiring harness on the outside. They like to be messed up a lot. <laughs> 